size. So overgrown weeds that didn't get an autumn pre-em. Uh, and poppies can be a tricky weed, especially in certain conditions. Um, what's the best growth stage? So Dan, would you like to come in here? Yeah, so thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, it's, it's a commonly asked question, um, actually. So um, it, it touches on what uh, what Jim's just talking about. So phenoxy herbicides generally they're 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 more temperature dependent than some of the other um, uh, broadleaf weed chemistry that's out there. So um, you know you'd suggest that uh, 10 degrees plus would be uh, certainly desirable uh, in terms of application. And as, and as Jim says, you know, after application as well. Um, having said that, Mecaprop uh, or CMPP, as uh, some people will call it, it will work in slightly cooler conditions. And we do now have a, um, a 2,4-D ester formulation. So the so, uh, majority of the Foxy formulations that we have are, are amine formulations now. Um, but uh, we have a, a new product called Depitone Ultra, which is a which is an ester, a low volatile ester formulation, which again will work in more marginal uh, conditions and, and perhaps cooler conditions. So um, something else to consider, uh, as you would with uh, any herbicide application, is uh, size of the weed um, at, uh, at application, as, as uh, John touched on as well. Mm. Um, I do feel that timings are often sort of compromised when it comes down to, um, in this in this instance, broadleaf weed control, because it tends to be the fungicide application that uh, people are concentrating on focusing on, and everything has to fit in with that. Uh, and I do wonder whether you know there is a perhaps a need going forward or to certainly look at splitting fungicide applications away from things like uh, uh, herbicide applications to in order to target weeds at the, the correct growth stages so it's food for thought perhaps absolutely um, sorry yeah no 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 um something else to to um to consider is uh, especially with with phenoxy herbicides is uh, the growth stage restrictions again which uh, which john touched on so both um MCPA and uh, Mecaprop, they, they're actually very well tolerated by um, cereal crops and uh, easel can be uh, used as, again, as mentioned, up to growth stage 39. Um, Duplazan uh, currently, which is uh, our straight Mecaprop, um, you can use that up to growth stage 33, um, although we have uh, done some work and uh, we will hopefully be getting a, an extended label uh, for a later timing with straight uh, Mecaprop. Um, 2,4-D and dicamba that can be found in, in some of our mixtures um, and obviously 2,4-D is a straight in cereals. Uh, they tend to have uh, growth stage 31 cut off. Um, so four to six leaves, uh, which is pretty common, um, would be the, the desirable timing for, for broadleaf weeds. Um, it's it's as Jim was saying, you know, it's just a it's an ideal uh, growth stage. But something else to to consider is the the crop competition. So you actually want to hit the target uh, to to start with. So you know, leaving it any longer, then you obviously the crop's going to be growing uh, just as well you'd hope. Um, so you could uh, impact the amount of spray you're getting onto your target weed. Um, Something that we did look at is uh, it's a question that um, we, we've had again uh, many times is control of poppies, um, as, as Joanna mentioned. Um, it's where you've got growers applying uh, sulfonyl ureas earlier in the season to control uh, broadleaf weeds, and, and among those, it, uh, poppies feature obviously. Um, and it's not until time marches on uh, and all of a sudden you're faced with a sea of red uh, that, that's come through the crop which is um, not particularly desirable to the uh, to the farmer or the grower or even the, the agronomist but uh, the, the general public. Great for the local artist group in my experience. Yeah absolutely yeah I do remember one year uh, coming away from the cereals event at Duxford uh, and there was an absolute flood of red which I'm sure didn't go down particularly well considering where the exit was for the, uh, for the car park. But, um, <laughs> so we, we, uh, this was obviously due to, to ALS resistant uh, poppy. So 
uh, a trial was done uh, a couple of years ago now with uh, easel which is our 750 gram mcpa uh, which as i said can be used up to growth stage 39 um amongst uh, there was other uh, herbicide treatments in there as well uh, this was on uh, als susceptible poppy uh, to mention because uh, some of the other treatments included uh, more typical sulfonylureas and um within the the easel uh, application we also included some uh, uh, epoxyconazole just to see if there was any crop effect as well from phyto by adding that um, we actually got really good results uh, from the from the easel application you know up to sort of 94 percent control um, uh, the the crop was at growth stage 37 uh, and the poppies were in flower so to give you some sort of idea um, it suppressed the poppies very well um, and the crop obviously carried on uh, growing and there was no phyto at all so uh, from from the epoxy conazole so it's uh it's yeah Great. key to look at um growth stages thank you very much uh well with um just before we move on to time's rattling on slightly so um but just before we move on to herbicide resistance we um uh, did want to talk about thistles um and um uh, Jim, I know that you've got um, uh, some views on controlling thistle. I know that uh, John touched on it earlier, um, uh, but Jim, I know that you've got some thoughts about uh, thistles. Well, my only thoughts on thistles um, are that, um, um, that there's a problem sometimes with very early growth winter crops that the thistles pop through so late in terms of growth stage and crop cover they can be difficult to control in uh, with with the hormone herbicides. Um, so there is an issue of the phasing of the crop and the phasing of the thistle emergence. Um, but if you can get a good coverage of the, the top few leaves of thistles uh, with MCPA, you'll you'll get a reasonable control. I don't know if uh, Dan would uh, accept that as a statement. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and we've we've seen it. Uh, we've seen it on uh, various trials, both uh, small plot and and um, you know full scale field trials as well. So great. 